Alright, in this cast we are going to have General Apathy demonstrate numerous things of what not to do in the game of Age of Empires. The strategy that he thinks he's going to try to do is a feudal TC drop with Britons. I know what you're thinking. It's already trash. Let's see what we got. We're going to speed up the Dark Age a little bit. We are going to follow one specific vill. And maybe the scout. All right, the six vill is going to come forward. It's going to lane. First, let's pay attention to the scout. The scout, right now, in great position to go and scout some more. But do you know what Apathy sees? Apathy sees this sheep right here. And he thinks, gee, I better go and control that sheep instead of scouting my opponent. And now we're going to show you why that was a terrible decision. Scout is going to turn right back around. See ya, Scout. And now the Vill has no idea what to do. We're just going to chill for 15 seconds, doing nothing. Now we're going to lame some deer. That's really not going to hurt our opponent at all in the slightest. And now the Scout is back. 30 seconds too late. The scout finally sees the elephant. So now this guy is going to try to go all the way over there and lame that elephant. And it's four minutes in. Do you think he's going to be successful? No, he's not. Because he's already been spotted. He decides, hey, let's just drop our scout. The elephant gets uh, brought in in the nick of time. And now he's going to try to micro this vill to desperately get value from it. He won't, doesn't even pop the scout. Vil is dead, back home, Eco in shambles. Look at how many people are on this elephant. Yep, there you have the managers just looking over everyone's shoulder, making sure everyone's working. Finally balances is out. Barracks on the way, he clicks feudal. All right, let's slow it down a little bit. He's Britons, okay? Britons, are they known for their archer rushes or their scout rushes apathy is going to try to make it famous with the scout and spear rush so he's gonna hop on a bunch of wood and all of his food is going to be spent on scouts he's gonna idle his tc forever in feudal age because he's got to get these stupid scouts out and it's gonna really encumber him here we go straggler 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 um Nothing special here. Long distancing deer because five is not the optimal amount you want to do that. There's definitely a hole in between that palisade and that house. Rushing down, rushing down the stable with five vills because that's what's going on. It's a speed thing. Rushes it down with five vills. I guess that was a pretty fast queue time. But over queuing. Zero vills. He's got one spear coming out, three, and then finally gets a TC cooking. He's already down to 19 food and just these three. Okay, let's also talk about his walling. He knows he's going to be doing a feudal TC drop, and yet he's walled his base in such that an uh, opponent would not be able to come through up here because the TC is there. But he knows he's deleting his TC. So his berries aren't safe at all. Um, so all of the effort into putting this little barricade up was worthless. All right. Where are these vills going? He doesn't have the wood for the TC drop. He's going to make a forward lumber camp as if he's Berber vill rushing. But the problem is he's not going to be doing any vill fighting. The purpose of the forward lumber camp is vill fight, bring the weak ones back to get, get wood. We got scouts. Here we go. Scouts running around. They're not attacking anything. They're not idle. Look at that. They're just running by vills. It's a scout parade. It's not a scout attack. It's a scout parade. Oh, doink, doink. Oh, just worthless. And here, what's this? What's this TC drop location? He could drop it on the gold. He could drop it right here in between the wood and the gold. But no, not apathy. He doesn't care about that. He wants the farms. We're going to have a little fight. Of course, this TC is going to go up. 
Opponent's like, nah, I'm not going to bother. So Apathy's like, I'm going to steal your farms. Not, he's not shooting the TC. He's just stealing farms. Again, he can go chase him down, but nope, he wants farms. Meanwhile, he just lost his entire scouts because he was worried about stealing farms. And now again, deletes TC. Builds it right on the farms. Apathy, build it here. Deny the wood, deny the gold. Watch how many vills are going to die from this tower. One. Two. Three. Almost four. Almost four. Okay, so this tower is going to go down. He's now without any stone. And yes, he's still farming. He's got zero on gold. He doesn't have an archery range. He's got a spear protecting idle villagers and a whole bunch of people on wood for a TC fight. Nothing on gold, nothing on stone. Let's keep on watching. Okay, so now he's going to lame. He's going to lame down here. What what are you what are you laming? Are you laming the building or are you laming the the gold pile? He can't make up his mind. He's also he's also walling it in in front of a tower. So it looks like he's doing both. He's going to get the gold mine and he's going to wall off the building. We still got the scout parade going. Oh, he finds some more bills. Doesn't do any damage. Attacks a house. Nothing going on here. Desperately looking to see where he's at. He's not finding anything. He's not really making any scouts. He's not doing any damage with them. Uncovers all of this. Gets a vil kill. But loses two scouts in the meantime. Gonna lose a spear too. Like imagine what ten archers would just do right here. Like it would just absolutely shrek. TC fight. Nothing special. Also imagine what a tower would do right here. He spent all of his... All of his stone on some garbage TC locations. And he's not denying anything. He's not denying this. He's not denying this. But yes, he did steal 10 farms. Still trying to raid back up here. He did get another vil kill. But if he just had archers, he would just destroy everything. He's getting more vil kills. All right, this isn't that bad from Apathy. This is the point where he definitely should convert this into a win. But again, he's got unattended farms. What does he do? He sends Vils to steal more farms. Apathy, just win the game. Just win the game. Who cares about the farms? All right, at this point, we're just going to fast forward this. We're going to just see it on Apathy's point of view as it all comes crumbling down around him. Red's got knights out. His scouts are going to be worthless. Still looking for value. Not going to happen. Crep post in his face. Down goes the TC. He doesn't have the stone. He doesn't have the wood. Bill's just running around trying to kill stuff. Worthless scouts. Still on parade. Drops another TC. Doesn't know how to give it up. Finally, in the original spot, he should have put it in. Going to repair the TC. Now down a thousand points in score. Finds him. Gets walled out. This is just bad at this point. Just holding on forever to a lost game. You've played amazingly, he says. I mean, Red really didn't make that many mistakes, but it's not like Apathy played this very well. I'm doing a feudal TC drop challenge still in the B's. It almost worked. It did almost work. If you didn't lame the farms, if you just built archers, if you just dropped a TC in the right spot, if you just lamed or didn't lame altogether, and there you have it. G 
GG called from apathy, demonstrating to everyone that he's truly just a 700 ELO pleb.